we need top of the range machines and that's exactly what we are investing in. We're here at Armeg. They are a hammer drill and power tool accessories manufacturer. In fact, they produce over 600 products to industry. But today we're going to talk about one product in particular because you've gone on a little bit of a journey with this, haven't you, Paul? I certainly have. This product has given me nightmares for years. Uh, it's very, very challenging to make. We used to uh, do this in uh, three operations. We used to have to turn... We used to have to shank. We, because of the shape of the product, it was so hard to get it to come off the machine, so we had to make a, an extra part on the end that then was manually removed. That's going to cost you quite a bit of money as well. Certainly, and not to mention uh, servicing as customers. So uh, we, that's what we pride ourselves on here, is uh, price, quality and service. But this isn't the only success story of parts that you've got from these machines. No, that's right. I mean, we've just launched this product here, the uh, roofing bolt driver, and if it wasn't for that machine, we would not have been able to get that product to market. It's price sensitive, and uh, the cycle times and the technology on the machine has allowed us to be able to do that and release that product, and it's doing very well. Andrew, how does the new investment in a Star machine relate to you bringing in new business for Armec? Well, if I'm out, trying to bring in the new business and a secure new business and then we come back here at base and we can't physically manufacture it that might be down to simple manufacturing capabilities that we can't accomplish that might be down to we cannot manufacture the parts cost effectively enough it might just be because we haven't got enough capacity back here but the point i'm making is without these new investments we wouldn't be able to take on any new business so why go for this particular model because you've got quite a few stars here on site we do uh, we originally invested in an sr machine which was fantastic we got it for a certain product that product didn't quite fly and then we realized how versatile these machines actually are we were loading it with with new products all the time uh, but we quickly discovered that the capacity was filling up on the sr and we needed to relieve capacity again now, an SW was a lot more suited to the new products that we were bringing in as a whole. These, these machines suited the geometries of those products. Tell me more about the geometries then of this machine and what you're capable of. OK, so the SR to focus on is an extremely versatile machine. It'll let us go up to much physically larger components, up to 38mm diameter. However, on the smaller products, it's, it's sort of like a jack of all trades. Our products are predominantly much smaller uh, and much need, need to work to much tighter tolerances and need to churn these products off at a much higher rate. These SW machines allow us to do that. They have more axes and they have more capabilities. It's, it's, it's free channel programming and it's free channel machining, which essentially, uh, essentially allows you to have three different cuts in the material simultaneously. So if you think on a standard older sliding head lathe, your cycle time might be five minutes. You can third that cycle time by having three different operations, you know, three different cuts in, in one go on these machines. You went for one SR machine yep. and within a year you went for another one. We went for the SR originally and like I was saying, the, it was fantastic, extremely versatile, but the new products we were bringing in and the new products we were releasing, the new business we, we were securing, an SW would suit those products more. So we then invested in an SW, and that was fantastic. The amount of products we were churning out. We actually, there was a, a product we, um, we took on, and we only took it on because we had the SR machine. That, if, if we didn't have the SR machine, it, would have been, it wouldn't have been cost effective to manufacture that. Um, and we managed it in three minutes. We thought that was fantastic. The SW actually sliced that in half, and that's a 90 second cycle time on the SW now, which is, which is fantastic, we were winning. As we took on more new business and released more new products, we then ran out of capacity on this machine. Hence, a year later, we ordered a brand new SW, which again alleviated that capacity issues that we had. You're a big advocate of the Step Cycle Pro, aren't you? Certainly am, certainly am, absolutely. So, as I've just explained, we've invested in two new SW machines, and that was really to alleviate the capacity. Now we're starting to run low on capacity on the new machine, so we've had to go for SCP. Now, SCP is a sort of uh, a swarf control 
um, and it, it works via oscillation. And what it means is you can control the length of the chips. Your main problem when you're trying to run these machines on lights out is your swarf control. So your operator might set the machine, and now we're, when he's when he's just got back home, let's say the machine stopped down yep. to down to swarf. Um, we've worked out that over our sort of vast array of components, SCP actually increases capacity by five hours every single night of the week. And what's that doing for you? And that, that will therefore help us grow the business, you know. It's, it's extra capacity and when I'm going out and trying to get this new business, it's more capacity for me to bring in that new business. So would you grow Armeg? if you didn't invest in machines like this? No, absolutely, it wouldn't be possible. You need to invest to move forward. And that's exactly what we are doing with Star right now. We know that the right equipment for the job, it's, it's, it's all proven technology for us. It does what it says on the tin, so to speak. But we need to invest for us to grow the business further. For us to take on and release new products, we need top of the range machines. And that's exactly what we are investing in.